Radek Vidic is a future Manchester United star. It's easy to see why he has been compared to Peter Schmeichel, as damning stats emerge from Manut's defeat to Rosenborg and explain Eric Ten Hag's anger. Radek Vidic was Manchester United's best player in the preseason friendly against Rosenborg. They always say don't overreact to preseason, but man and sometimes a player drops a performance that underlines everything you have learned about him during the previous two years. Step forward goalkeeper Radek Vidic who was excellent in Manchester United's opening preseason friendly of 2024. Radek Vidic shows his quality. Radek Vidic has been making an impression behind the scenes at Manchester United for a couple of seasons now. He was named in the first team squad for a Europa League game under Eric Ten Hag in late 2022. Prior to this, Vidic showed his potential in the same team as Kabi Mainu and Alejandro Garnacho, helping the Red Devils to win the FA Youth Cup in 2022. Vidic started out on loan in early 2024 at a Crinkton Stanley, winning rave reviews for his first performances in competitive football. It has served him well. The Athletic previously reported how Vidic's goalkeeping style has drawn comparisons to Peter Schmeichel and Oliver Kahn. It's easy to see why. Vidic is huge, he has a big reach, and he closes opponents down by narrowing the angles with his large frame. He pulled off a succession of outstanding saves against Rosenborg and was the only player to feature for all 90 minutes. This was a big show of faith considering Denzel Heron award winner Ellie Harrison was on the bench, another very highly rated young stopper. Vidic demonstrated another side of his game too. While Schmeichel was famed for his long throws upfield which would reach the halfway line, Vidic prefers to play the ball out with his feet, a more modern trait. He completed 69 of 77 passes attempted against Rosenborg, a total of 90%. He fits the style Eric Ten Hag wants to play perfectly. Vidic's first team path blocked for now. Radic Vidic should be the true number two to first choice stopper Andre Onana. He's that good. Vidic demonstrated another side of his game too. While Schmeichel was famed for his long throws upfield which would reach the halfway line, Vidic prefers to play the ball out with his feet, a more modern trait. He completed 69 of 77 passes attempted against Rosenborg, a total of 90%. He fits the style Eric Ten Hag wants to play perfectly. Vidic's first team path blocked for now. Radic Vidic should be the true number two to first choice stopper Andre Onana. He's that good. However, this is not necessarily how it will work. Manchester United will likely take the view that to use Vidic as a backup would be detrimental to his development. Vidic needs to play, and he will likely agree with this notion, especially after getting another taste in Norway. Another loan deal is most likely, either at a championship club or in a top fight league in Europe. Vidic has the potential to be a true number one, and if this is not at Manchester United, he can build a reputation that could see United fetch a big fee for his services in the future. Against Rosenborg, however, Vidic looked every inch the future Manchester United star. In other news, damning stats emerge from Manut's defeat to Rosenborg and explain Eric Ten Hag's anger. A damning stat has emerged from Manchester United's defeat to Rosenborg. On Monday, United lost 1-0 in a preseason encounter with Norwegian top fight outfit Rosenborg, who are halfway through their domestic season. Tin Hag named Marcus Rashford, Aaron Wan Bissaka, Johnny Evans, Mason Mount, and Casemiro in his starting lineup, only to take them all off at halftime in a planned switch. And the Dutchman was left furious by the performance, which saw Rosenborg eventually take the lead in the 93rd minute through Noah Holm. Rosenborg hit the post four times and had 22 shots on the United goal before scoring the winner. Such stats will bring back memories of last term for the United faithful, when Ten Hag's men conceded 20 or more shots in a Premier League game on 15 occasions. After the game, Ten Hag insisted that his players' performance was by far not good enough and not the top standard of football. The result is not secondary. We play preseason, but at Manchester United, there's a standard, the Dutchman told MUTV after the game. You win games. Definitely, you don't lose games. If you can't win, don't lose the game as we did at the end, the last second of the game. The performance is more important. The performance was below standard. The result could have been worse for United had young goalkeeper Radek Vidic not made six key saves in Trondheim. Ten Hag said, let's say he got the opportunity from the team to make some very good saves, because our performance as a team is by far not good enough. If you enjoyed the video make sure to smash the like button and make sure to subscribe to Man United Hub to get all the latest updates. Get all the latest